Hey everybody, welcome back to BK's Bullets. Now we're going to talk about the Black Adam panel. You know, I think there are things that are great about this DC fandom and some, some things that are not. Obviously, they didn't do a whole bunch of, like, send out a bunch of cameras to everybody so they could just film it themselves in 1080p or whatever. Everybody's webcam seems to have been fine. But I have to commend The Rock for insisting, you know, that his is different, that his stands alone and that it, it feels like a separate big event. And he achieved that. We've kind of been teased the last week with The Rock putting out stuff on social media where you're like diving through this cavern and CG and there's The Rock standing in front of all these broken pillars and things like that. And the entire panel, as I kind of thought, was what took place in this broken paneled room and things like that. And it was Rock answering questions about who's in the movie you know, what the commitment is that he's going to be, uh, com you know, following in his own code of justice and not just a vigilante anti-hero jerk. Um, so he confirmed all that stuff. But what was really cool is that The Rock or DC, whoever is behind all this, this just this little reveal, commissioned Boss Logic, which is an internet artist and kind of has been the one that's, you know, will always post the first image of concept art of, you know, some casting, you know, or fan casting. The Rock is Black Adam. Boom. Like, Boss Logic's been putting out images, you know, time after time after time. And I think they, they so they commissioned him and Jim Lee to do this, like, animated uh, motion comics intro of, like, the history of Black Adam that he was once a slave, granted power, and then got, you know, that power ripped from him and has been in prison for 5,000 years. So that was a very, very cool very cool animated intro. Then we had Noah Centineo from all those girly Netflix movies and stuff like that come on and say he's training, and there's a little thing there. Who cares? Um, but we also got a look at who else is going to be in the movie, which is the the rest of the JSA. Once they kind of announced Adam Smasher, all the rumors that have been floating around that it was basically this is Black Adam versus the JSA movie, where the hell is Shazam? I have no idea. No idea why this isn't that, but anyway, we're we're gonna feature Hawkman in this movie, Cyclone, Doctor Fate, and Adam Smasher versus Black Adam. So it's kind of a team movie going against Black Adam. So we'll get an origin, we have our villains, which is the the heroes, so to speak, and thus our conflict. So I think that's pretty cool. What is weird, though, is that we have literally known that The Rock has been playing Black Adam for five years. This is so long in the tooth that by the time this movie has come out, I don't know if you could, will be able to have any excitement left. Um, this should have happened two years ago, three years ago, who knows. But The Rock has been teasing this and teasing this and teasing this like... This is the one thing everybody's actually wanted to see from The Rock for the last five years. And instead we get Hobbs and Shaw. Instead we get the Red Notice Netflix movie that's going to come out. Instead we get Skyscraper. Instead we get Rampage. And it seems like everything else has been on the schedule before Black Adam. Even though we knew about Black Adam before we knew about half of those other movies. So whatever the holdup has been, I have no idea. But it is so long in the tooth that right now I... You know, I'm excited for Black Adam as they reveal more stuff, but I'm, at this point it's like, you know, when is this thing going to just come out? Just shoot this thing. Come on. So maybe it's been a long development process. Maybe they've been trying to figure out what the story they would want to want to do. Will we ever see Shazam versus Black Adam? Who knows? The thing I do know is that they had the wizard from Shazam, uh, which is, you know, they painted him to look like Jaimon Hunsu, who was in the Shazam film. Um, as the wizard, basically battling Black Adam in that concept art. So hopefully there's a job in there for Jaman Hunsu, you know, again, to be the wizard. That was cool. Um, but if this movie does well, will there be a Shazam 2 or 3? Who knows? Um, but definitely we need to see The Rock face off against Shazam in some form of thing because they're basically the same person. They have the same powers, they're just different attitudes and different things to go about it. I think the downside is, and this has always been the case, is that they announced The Rock as Black Adam way before they announced they were either making a Shazam movie or who was playing Shazam. Now, 
the Shazam movie we got, I really, really like. I really, really like Zachary Levi. He captures that boyhood fun feel that I think is needed. But is The Rock going to want to face a star on terms of Zachary Levi's caliber? Probably not. Because Zachary Levi, The Rock, in terms of like star power, ticket sales, you know, it's three different levels in between these two guys. So, you know, should they have gotten like John Cena or somebody to play Shazam? Who knows? But that would have been something I think you would have seen that much quicker. Whereas now it's going to have to be due to fan response and demand and how everything does and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, we may not see it. it. It could just be a one-off if these movies don't do that well in terms of Warner Brothers and their strategy or whatever. But I think it's only right that they do meet at some point. So fingers crossed for that. But Shazam, when will we get it? Who knows? They haven't even started shooting, of course, because of this COVID-19 stuff. So, you know, my projection would be 2022, maybe? 2023? So again, this movie, still a long ways off, just like the Flash movie. So that's kind of where they're at. Um, they have started casting, they have a script, so maybe they're further, a bit further along than the Flash movie, but, uh, I don't know, we'll see. The world is in a nebulous place right now, so it's good to get excited about something. It's good to have DC fandom to distract us from the, you know, Groundhog Day-ness of it all, of being home all the time, working from home, and doing the same things over and over again, uh, so I'm very thankful for that, but, you know, don't get too excited, this stuff's still two to three years away. But, uh, hey, it's good to talk about something, so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that nonsense. And we will see you guys next time in the funny pages here on BK's Bullets.